Okay, inflation, unemployment, we're done. <laughs> Over. Yeah. So we, we had the uh, consumer price numbers uh, for June. Mm -hmm. And between June and May and June, 5% uh, increase in prices. That's right. And don't average. forget, guys, it's still transitory. Yeah. It, it, that's a lot. That's the most Gosh. in a month. Uh, I think they said since 2008. Yeah. Or something. And then the, like, like I was reading an article, like you know, our, um, lumber prices keep coming down, but don't expect home prices to, you know, new bills to cost less. Oh, no, no. Like it's, it's not just lumber. It's, it's not, it, it's everything it, else, it. but it's, you know, we don't, how long can we, can they hold on to this whole transitory inflation thing? Well, listen, there um, are going to be some things that go back down to normal. I mean, you think about like your like just food. I mean, the, the it ranges from two. I mean, there's like some goods of, of food goods that are like up like thirty percent. Yeah. Well, it's supply and demand that the the supply chain was disrupted. That kind of stuff will start to come back more in line. But um, and we were discussing this earlier. Um, labor costs are not going to change. They're going to continue to go up. Mm -hmm. um, there was a. It wasn't a national survey, but what they're finding is if you're surveying these small businesses is that uh, people that are being hired right now are not being hired because they were unemployed. They're being hired because they work for somebody else and they're paying them more to poach them from somebody else. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it, uh, as and much you, as they say, there's a labor short, like there is a skills shortage. No, I, I agree. Yeah. But, but my point is your, when your labor costs go up, they're not going to come back down. Those mm -hmm. are going to stay steady. So oh, you're yeah, definitely for going sure. to have uh, long-term inflation on that. And what, really what scares me is all the extra money that they're trying to throw at, at the economy, but which I do not think is going to end up happening. I hope not. Um, ho hopefully they'll, they'll spartan up a little bit. Uh, so on the unemployment news, uh, I, again, the first time unemployment uh, actually went down again. So it's good. And then, of course, the continuing claims also went down. So that's, that's all, also all good stuff. Yeah. Um, the, the economy really is booming. We just have too many dollars going after well, too the, few products. Yeah, too many dollars going after too few products. I mean, you just printed four trillion dollars. Like people, people are, are like, and here's the thing, like all these things have inflated in price, but not too many people are complaining, probably besides us. But, <laughs> but it's, you know. People are still going demand. out. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. People have a lot of money in their pocket yeah. from the stimulus, from all this extra printed money. Like people have jingle in their pocket. Yep. So they're like, you know what? what so if you have money? jingle in your pocket and you're a passive investor, come see go us. to carolinahardmoney.com and click on the um, credit and investor tab. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> we'll be happy to put those dollars to work. All right. Let's, and, we, uh, and we, you know, even at 5%, we outpace that inflation. 